Hi and welcome to this video mini series on how to create a Stomp Teaser video. In this series, you're gonna learn how to create this video. Cool. So as you can see, it's a really fresh style video and these are great for promotional videos, for teaser videos, if you're launching a new product or a service, and also as video ads, okay? So they look really good because the text matches with the beat and in a fast way you can communicate a really good message um, about your product or your service. And with the color gradients, it looks really, really fresh and clean and modern. So it really does visually capture people's attention. So what we're going to do in this first video is break down the three steps that we go through to make this video and then we're going to have two to three four minute videos um, for each of these steps and you can follow along with me and create the same video as we just showed you. So step one is to find a good audio track and the best tracks for these style of videos are stomp or rock tracks because they have a really distinct beat um, and it, it makes it easy for you to match up your text and your images with the beat. Um, and a great place to start is with a slower audio track. With a slower beat, it means that you don't have to have so much text um, happening at a fast rate, but you can basically learn this technique, how it works um, using a slower beat. And then when you get better, you can use faster beats to match up your audio and your text. Step two is to write up a simple script. Um, you can open up a Word doc or a paper doc and just write down your message that you want to communicate in your video. And then you can copy that text and paste it into the software and your text placeholders. Um, or you could just do like what I do is just wing it as you're going um, just basically make up your message as you go and that's fine as well um, And the third step is to basically find some good color gradients You can also wing this if you're good with design You can just you know play around with the colors inside the software or you can click on the link underneath this video and you'll be sent to this link uh, Where basically you have all these really nice gradient colors as you can see and all you need to do is copy these, these codes and paste it into the software and yeah, have really nice looking gradients that you can use in your videos. So check it out and then go on to the next video and then we're gonna start creating this Stomp style teaser video inside Create Studio. In this video, we're gonna get started creating our first section of the Stomp teaser video. Cool. So we're just gonna do that intro Hi, hello, welcome to Create Studio, and we're gonna add that logo like that, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is download the audio track underneath this video, and then you wanna import it into Create Studio by clicking on the plus import media button and bringing it into Create Studio, okay? So once you've done that, simply drag it onto your canvas and it'll add it to your timeline, and you can actually go through and drop down the waveform by clicking on the arrow over here, and that will show you the audio waveform so that we can match and sync up the text in our media with our actual beats. Okay, cool. So the next thing we want to do is go through and add a text layer. So I'm gonna click on text over here. And the text font that I'm using is Poppins, but you can use whatever text font you like. And I'm gonna go through and change the text to hello. And I'll just make it a little bit bigger, something like that, and make sure that it's centered. And I'm gonna click on this color icon here. You could also click over here um, and then select linear gradient, okay? And this is where we can add two color gradients to the text. So I'm gonna use something like a purple type color and also a maybe a blue, kind of greeny blue like that. And that's looking really good like so, okay. Um, and what I wanna do also is change the background color to make it white. So to do that, you just simply click on the settings icon and you'll see the settings panel over here and click on the background and make it white like that, okay. So now we've got our first text we can basically go through and sync it up with the audio beat. So I'm just gonna dr drag this zoom uh, button over here. I'm gonna go through and click and drag at the end of this track and just basically um, zoom back in and, and see the audio beat. And I just wanna make sure that this beat um, and the text ends at the start of the second beat. And it also starts at the, at the kind of the, where it pops in the beginning of the first beat. So I'm just gonna drag that out so that it starts uh, not on screen then it hits the beat and the text pops like so and then it comes off okay so I've got my first text I'm just going to simply select that and use command D on my keyboard if you've got a Windows computer you can use control D to duplicate it I'm just going to drag it over like so 
so that it goes from hello and then I'm going to change this to we okay and you can go through and you know adjust the colors and you can really use you know, any color you like whatever looks good to you you can change it up I might make this a little bit more green or like kind of teal blue I guess like so so it goes hello and then it goes the second beat pops here and there's actually a little beat over here as well so this will be a quick transition and what we want it to do is basically start in the middle like this and then we want it to slide across and and then when the second or the third beat hits the text should appear over here okay so I'm just going to go through and create a position animation by dropping this down and clicking on the plus icon and clicking on position okay so now that I've added this animation here, I need to go through and animate it. So at, at the start position, we've got it in the middle of the screen. Um, I'm going to just kind of drag this out a little bit like so. And I want it to end at about this point when the next text comes on. So I'm just going to move this over. And at this point, I want this text to move across. So I'm just going to use the arrows on my keyboard and just kind of, you know, bring it across like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this text again I'm just going to delete that animation on this second one and I'm just going to drag this one out so that this one uh, basically comes on with that third beat so I'm just going to type in R okay, like this and this looking pretty good I might move this across a little bit like so so it goes from the first beat hits and it goes hello and then it goes across we and it slides as it's coming in it starts in the middle and slides across and then the next one just pops like that okay so let's just preview that in real time cool so you can see how fast it is maybe you could even make that animation a little bit delayed or a little bit longer so it goes like this so it's as this, as the next text coming on it's still sliding a little bit you could do something like that so it's not as fast okay cool so we've got hello we are and then the next thing that happens on this video is it goes from hello we are and then it slides across create studio and then the logo okay so let's just add that so what I'm gonna do is just collapse all these and bring the audio track up the top I'm just gonna rename this one call this audio like this and it's best to have your audio track at the top so you can really see the text as you add new layers and basically match them up okay so what I'm gonna do now is add a background so I'm gonna click on the shape tool and I'll just remove that and just add this rectangle um, and what I'm going to do is basically change the color and make an, a red type orange gradient so let's go and grab the red and let's grab this orange color like so and with this shape selected I'm going to click on the expand button to make it full width like that and yeah I can go through and actually just drag this down like so so that it's underneath and just call this one background for example BG for background so it goes from white and then we have some text I'm just gonna add some text over here so let's say create studio and let's just make that a bit bigger and centered yeah, maybe something like that it looks quite good and for this one we're gonna just add a motion preset so I'm gonna to go to motion and I'm gonna to go to slide in right okay and so I'm just gonna make it about the duration of that beat so it kind of goes across like this but what I'm gonna do is just right click on this and go to disable fade and I'm gonna click on the animation settings and make it start kind of on the screen already so it's kind of it's on but it's moving towards the middle like this okay and that's looking good so I'll just make sure that it's centered yep and, and then what I'm gonna do is basically drag this out so that it when the next beat comes on we're going to show the logo um, and the other text is going to disappear and we'll add that logo so you could just go and import your logo here um, I'm just going to go use the create studio shape that's already in here and just add that like so and just center it and then what I'm going to do is just drag it out again so that it ends at the start of this beat and just drag this across so that also the background changes as well when that text changes so let's just preview what we've done so far cool so you can see how simple that is I mean when you're first trying this out it may seem a little bit um, complicated but it's best to start with a slower beat if you can and um, just have a go at working with 
um, lining up the text without doing the animations you can go through and just you know line up the text with the beats if you want to be a bit more um, advanced you can obviously add those animations that I showed you before with this slide like this and that just adds some more kind of dynamic variety to your video so go ahead and try that out and then jump onto the next video and we'll continue creating this video inside create studio in this video we're going to continue creating the stomp teaser video and right now we're up to this section here cool so let's go ahead and continue creating this video um, what i'm going to do is simply drop down that audio track over here to see the waveform and you can see, right, this is what we've created so far if I just play back from the start. Cool. So basically what we wanna do now is add some text again. So I'm gonna to go to text over here and click on the color. And I'm gonna select the gradient and make it a blue and maybe a pink or something like that. Something like this looks quite good. I might actually go through and actually change the text font and make it a bit bolder so I might go with something like semi bold and I'll center that like so okay so I'm just gonna type in we and I'm just gonna again continue doing the same kind of technique where you match up your text with the beat if I just zoom in a bit closer here you can see that this beat ends here and so I'm trying to make this come across a bit longer okay and I'll just move this across so that we got this nice transition here and I'll just make it a little bit bigger and center it again. Okay, so it goes we and then this one has two little beats. So you've got this one here and this one here. Um, so let's just go through and duplicate this text by using command D or if you're on a Windows use control D to duplicate it. And again, I'm just going to what I'm going to do is basically change this to make like this. And I might go through again and just change that color. So I might make this one a greeny color like this, for example, maybe this one a little bit bluer. Okay, and what, what I'm gonna do with this one is we're gonna go from we make, and because this is quite a quick beat and the text is not on too long, I'm just gonna duplicate this like I did in the, in the other video, in the, basically the main video. And I'm just gonna use the same word, but what I'm gonna do is make it bigger okay so to kind of stand out a bit more so that it goes from the short beat and it pops like this okay so if we just preview this you can see it's got that really nice uh transition because if if this was only on for like i don't know maybe 10 frames for example you might miss what it actually says uh, but you really need to go ahead with the beat so a good thing is you can just have the same word to really emphasize that word um, and create that cool kind of pop and then what we want to do is again duplicate this and we're going to use the word videos okay so I'm just going to bring this out and just type in videos uh, let's make it a little bit smaller maybe and again center that and what we want to do with this text is basically make it white. So I'm just going to go to uh, the solid color, make it white. And I'm going to go through and add a background. So if I just add on the sh uh, shape tool, click on the shape tool, go to rectangle. And I'm just going to make this kind of full width. And I'm going to use a gradient for this one. I'm going to use a, a blue color. And also maybe like kind of a purple pink color like so. And that's quite nice. And yeah, you can go through and, you know, kind of play around with it and see what colors look best for you. Um, yeah, so something like that looks quite nice. So what I'm going to do is just zoom out again. A good thing to do is to actually rename your layers. So if, instead of having rectangle, I could say like uh, background purple, for example. You could call it a purple. And um, basically we want to go through and just resize it. And I'll drag this up like so. And yeah, that's looking quite good. So let's just preview what we've done so far. Cool. So the other text as well, I probably want to make this like a semi bold as well so that it fits in with this, this other text uh, font weight. So we make videos like that. And then what we want to do is add that video clapper. Okay, you could have an icon if you've got any other icon. Um, just to follow along with this same style, we can go over to studio. And I'm going to go grab that 
uh, 3D icon, clapper, um, and just place it up like so, and maybe center it. And to highlight that, you know, the word videos, and to add some, you know, more a dynamic feel in terms of having like an icon or an image, instead of just having text, it's nice to add things like this or emojis, you know, to really uh, emphasize things and make it look a lot better. So we just want to basically drag the audio track again up to the top. So we can see the waveform a bit better and just zoom in like so and bring it up like that, okay? So if I just preview this, we'll just see again what we've done um, from the start in creating this teaser style video. Cool. So with this icon, um, basically you can see that you want to make it kind of clap along like like this, okay? Um, but with this icon, the clap kind of starts a little bit late. So what we want to do is kind of create a custom animation, I guess. Um, and what I'm going to do is basically go to animations and go to opacity and basically make it really short, okay? So maybe something like this. Okay, so we just want it to kind of fade in just at the, at after one frame basically at about this point here okay so what I'm going to do is set it at, this is at 100% uh, so what I'm going to do is bring it to the start and make it 0% opacity like so and again we just want to bring this over so that it kind of claps at that beat okay so just as it's coming on like this okay so it's a little bit of a I don't know a little bit of fiddly kind of trick you can do um, but yeah we could just kind of create it like this. It's got 0% opacity, it comes on, and then it kind of clicks in place with that beat. So I'm just gonna move it over a little bit longer like that. And let's just preview that. Like so, okay? So that's how I did that uh, with this icon. Um, but yeah, if you've got an icon that's like an MP4 video, you could just kind of cut it. Um, but yeah, with these ones, it worked in that kind of way. So yeah, this is what we've created so far. Cool. So yeah, go ahead and try out these little tricks and continue building your video and then go to the next video and I'm going to continue creating the Stomp Teaser video with you. Alright, so now we're into part four of creating the Stomp Teaser video. Let's just preview again what we're creating. Cool. So what we're going to do in this video is this part here. So Again, it's the same kind of technique, um, but it's good to practice so with the best. And you can see we've got this pop here, and then we've got a nice slide animation with a cool little emoji, okay? So let's go ahead and continue creating this. So right right now, I basically went and I updated the text file, and I made it uh, semi-bold instead of regular. I think it looks a lot better uh, and stands out a lot more. So we've got this uh, going on here. We make videos and then it comes up to this part and then we've got this beat over here as you can see on the timeline. So I'm just going to go through and zoom in uh, using this zoom bar over here and just drag this out so that it ends when this beat really kind of pops about here. I might zoom in a bit closer so I can see a bit better. So about, yeah, about this point here, we can just remove that background as well as that video, okay? Now one thing you could do as well, which might make things a lot more compact on your timeline, and I think it's a great idea is to uh, basically select everything on your timeline except for your audio track. So I'm just using the shift um, shift uh, button on my keyboard and just simply selecting everything by left clicking on it like this. And then what you want to do, if I go cross a little bit more, again select that, is right click on it and then go create group. Okay, cool. So now we've got this group, we've basically got all the elements except for hello, I kind of missed that one out, but all the elements in this group here and it just makes things way more compact on your timeline. What you could also do is basically um, click on this icon and also this one and I'm also going to lock these layers as well and then simply click on this hide marked tracks, okay? And now what we have is we've still got the video over here but they're basically hidden on the timeline so that as we create more layers uh, it just makes it easier so we don't have to um, you know, go up and down and have so many layers actually visible on our timeline, okay? 
So now that we're up to this point here, we can continue building our video. So what I'm going to do is add that text layer and I'm going to change the color. So simply selecting this again and let's go over to blue. And I'm also going to grab that kind of pink purple type color. Let's have a look at that. That was quite nice. So I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do is just double click on that and change that to with. And I might make the font size a little bit bigger, maybe something like this. Let's just um, bring it over so we can see it more centered. Um, so we've got width and then over here, you'll be able to see if I zoom in a bit better, a bit closer. We've got two separate beats here. So we've got one quick one and then this one kind of like lasts a little bit longer. So to, what we're going to do is create two different text layers by duplicating it using Command D or Control D. And I'm just going to duplicate them again. And this one I'm going to drag it out like this. It's just a really quick one. So it goes over like this. Let's just go a bit closer. And I'll make it a little bit longer. Okay, like that. So this one we're going to type in the. And I might make this color a little bit lighter. So let's go with, yeah, like a blue and a green. It's nice to have different colors just so to mix it up and add a little bit more variation to it. Um, so it goes with the, and then this is going to say best. And with this one, I'm going to make it a lot bigger. So let's just bring out the font size, maybe something like this. And again, I, I like that kind of blue and green color. So I'm going to add this. Like so. Okay, that's good. So it goes with the best like that. And you can see it pops if I just play this through. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is um, go with the best and then go to style. So I'm just going to duplicate that command D and and with this as well, what we're going to do is basically go and um, change the color to make this one a white. So I'm going to go to fill and make it white and I'm going to make a background. So I'm going to get a rectangle and scale this up and I'm going to make this color Let's just have a look at actually what we did on the video. So it goes with the best. Okay, so like a, a purple and a pink color style. And let's just drag this across, drag style up to the top. And let's change the background color and make it that purple and pink. So, oops, so I just slick that back, that rectangle. And let's go with pink and kind of a purple color. Okay, something like that. And again, you can you know drag these circular dots. If you zoom in, it's a lot easier to select it and then just bring it across like that. And if you hold down shit, uh, the space bar on your keyboard, you can click and drag and move the canvas around. Okay, it makes things quite easy like so. So I'm just going to go drag this out so that it finishes after this beat where we're going to have the uh, emoji with the sunglasses on. So let's again zoom in over here and bring this over like that and for this style text we're going to make it slide in from the uh, right or the or the left depending on how you're watching this so i'm going to click on the style go to motion and go to in and let's say slide left so let's go and select that one and i'll drag this so that it ends uh, when this kind of ends and with this again i'm going to go and place the indicator at the start of the animation and i'm going to click on the settings with the animation selected and remove the fade. And I'm going to start the text on the screen, maybe about here so that it doesn't slide too much and you can see it the whole time. Okay. Like that. So let's preview that what we've done so far. Okay, cool. So at that beat, we're going to have that emoji with the sunglasses come on. So let's go over to emoji and classic and get this little cool dude and scale him up and I'm going to center him on the canvas like so okay so if I zoom in again and let's just grab this I'm going to grab the audio track drag it to the top so I can see it, the waveform a lot better and I'll drag this to end at this beat here and also the background color okay so we basically have the sliding across and to illustrate style with a fun kind of way we added an animated emoji with sunglasses on 
So let's preview what we've done um, so far in this video. If I go straight to the start and play this back. Cool. So go ahead and continue creating this section and then head on to the next video and we'll continue creating our teaser style video inside Create Studio. All right, so in this video, we're gonna kind of complete the Tom's teaser video. So it might be a little bit longer, um, but let me show you uh, what we've done so far. So if we go back to the start. Cool, so we've basically done up to here, um, but what I've done is just gone ahead and quickly done this part here just because it's the same kind of technique that I've been showing you in the past few videos so just copy along and do the same thing um, and then what I want to show you is how to create these masks videos over here uh, like so and how to pop them on yeah like so okay so if we just go through I'll show you quickly on the timeline over here this part here so basically again it's just simply matching up your text with the beat over here we've got two little beats and so it's kind of quick so it says take a look and then I just added an emoji um, from the emoji library with those eyes so if I just go across a bit better okay so this one goes for kind of two beats so it goes from this beat and it stays on for another beat and then we switch over to um, those video previews so what I'm going to do is just add a background so let's go to rectangle and I'm going to scale it up and just position it like so and what i'm going to do is add that blue green type gradient uh, let's have a look something like this i guess okay yeah so kind of play around with it i guess maybe i'll change that green to make it more precise something like that looks all right so let's go and just double click on that type in background and I'm gonna drag this audio track up above like so. So we've got our background and this comes on straight after these eyes like that on that beat. And at the same time with this background, we've got a video that pops up, okay? So I'm just gonna go through and select um, this rounded rectangle here. Just add it onto the canvas. Um, what I did was I basically just made it vertical. If I wanted to have a vertical video like that, but if you want just a normal video like this, you could do that. Let's just make it a bit of a variation. Okay, and what I'm gonna do with this one is call this one uh, middle, for example. So we know that's the middle video. And again, I'll just drag that like so, and that's looking good. So to go ahead and basically mask a video, all you have to do is go grab a video. So I'm um, just gonna grab one actually over, maybe over here. So let's go and grab Maybe we can use this one here. Cool. So I've got this video and I just simply drag and drop it onto the time onto the canvas and I'll resize it. And because it's got an audio, I'm going to just mute that audio over here and I'll just drag it down like so. Okay. So what we're going to do is mask this video with that shape. So basically overlay the video on that shape. So I'm going to just right click on the video and go mask with and middle. Okay, so now we've got this video. I might go through and actually make the video a little bit smaller. So let's just drag it down like that. Cool. So once you're happy with the video and the placement, a good thing to do is to lock your mask, okay? Uh, and this basically keeps that mask in the exact shape so when you're moving things around, it won't move. Um, and then when you're happy with the video as well, a good thing to do is simply lock that video, okay? Like that. Let's just call this one middle video. Okay, cool. So we've got our video that pops on like so. Let's have a look at this. Okay, and at this beat here, we want to go through and add another video. So what I'm going to do is, yet yeah, about, let's just preview that one more time. Okay, at this beat here. So what I'm going to do is just create another mask. Um, I could go through and create a square one or I could create, you know, any kind of shape you like, you can go through and, you know, create masks. So let's say, um, maybe we'll go with the, just that create studio logo one, which looks pretty cool. 
just making a bit of variation um, in the actual real video I had I think a square one and also a, yeah, one of these shapes and a vertical one so yeah let's just use a shape for this example and I'll go grab another video uh, let's have a look okay let's grab this one cool so I'm gonna just drag and drop this one on to the canvas and resize it like this and what I'm going to do is just simply right click on it, mask with, and whoops, mask with shape. Cool. So you can see um, we've got this video playing in the background. So again, what you could do is just lock that mask and you could resize that shape or that video. Like that. Okay. And let's just preview this. I'll just turn off that audio track <laughs> and play this through. So again, the th same thing applies. You just simply go through and create another shape. Um, and yeah, the, the mask, you can mask it if you want to do that video effect. And then when it comes over here, uh, after this part here, basically those, those videos just cut off. And then we've got this text again that just pops in that same, um, like this. So what I'm gonna do is just do this effect. So. Cool, so about this beat here, I'm just gonna go through and actually un I'll just uh, basically unlock this video, the main video, and I'll zoom out. And I'll just drag this over, okay, so that it ends at this beat here. Okay, maybe about there, so that one will end there one there so yeah we've got our two videos so this one then it will say need an epic video okay so I'm gonna go through and add some text click on the text tool just type in need and I'm gonna make that a orange type gradient maybe we'll grab this color here and something like that okay cool so again this one is kind of the same kind of principle but we're gonna stay on for those four beats so this one will basically go on a line like this so this one stays and then there'll be another text saying an epic video okay to about this point so I'm just gonna duplicate this and I'm just gonna zoom in a bit better and bring it over like so and just type in an like this I duplicate that again and you can see that these layers are all going to end at the same time because we want the whole sentence to be on the screen um, and then kind of go off so again I'll just drag this out and I'll bring this up to the top whoops let's just zoom out of it okay over here so zoom back in so need an epic and then I'm gonna go through and just duplicate that and drag that out so yeah so this one here I'm just gonna select it and just drag it across and type epic and then I'm gonna go over here and select this one and just type in video cool so what we're gonna do is basically position them so that in this same row it looks good on the screen like this and I might go through and just select them all just holding down shift whoops so shift 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 and shift and then just simply scale them all down a bit like that and position them in the, in the middle like that so now we should see um yeah nice kind of transition with this text if i just preview this okay cool so that's the you know the basic technique of creating a stomp style video um having nice gradients, basically matching up the text with the audio beat. Um, on the next slide, you can see I've got a colored background with the text um, with a gradient on it, okay? Like that, and then it goes back to white. And then we've just got a logo animation and the logo coming on. And that those animations are basically um, the motion preset one with the, with the uh, rota rotation. So yeah, I kind of want to stop the series about here because I think um, based on the other four videos, 
you kind of understand by now how it all works with the stomp technique. Um, the best thing to do to learn this style is to practice it. So go ahead and if you haven't already, um, you know, go back and watch the videos and just basically go ahead and create them with me step by step. Um, if you have any trouble, just go back to the video and watch it again. And but basically what you're doing is just matching up the text with the beat. Um, you want to have your audio track on the top, so it's good to go and drag it up. Um, to make things easy and quick, you want to duplicate layers by using Command D or Control D, and then just simply syncing them up with the beat, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed this mini series um, and you've learned a cool technique. Try it yourself. Um, try and you know use a different message based on the product that you're promoting or the service you're promoting. Um, try different colors. Um, you can even add, instead of having a background gradient, you could have just an image. So you could have an image or even a video that plays um, you know, for the duration of however long that shape would be. Um, and that kind of you know makes things a lot more dynamic as well. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. If you've liked it, uh, make sure to add a like to this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and enjoy making amazing videos inside Create Studio.